Tony winner Mary Louise Parker has landed back on Broadway in the world premiere of Char White's The Snow Geese, a drama about a family coming to terms with changing times during World War I. We're here at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater on opening night to celebrate with the cast and crew. What brings you out to opening night of The Snow Geese? Well, to see uh, my buddy Danny and, and Victoria, of course. Mary Louise is pretty much my oldest friend since we were kids, and, uh, and Danny Burstein is as well, so I, I, Got a double reason to be here. Well, I'm always excited to see a new play. Great count company, and I assisted Dan Sullivan a couple times when I was coming up, so it feels like a homecoming. It's great. Huge fan of Mary Louise Parker. Very excited to see her back on stage again. I never miss anything that she does on stage. What are you most excited to see inside there tonight? To be honest, I'm excited to see Dan Sullivan's direction and Mary Louise Parker's performance. Congratulations. How are you feeling tonight? I'm full of bubbles like a glass of champagne. I'm so happy. Tonight was kind of really exciting because we had two actors in the cast who'd never been on Broadway and I was really excited for them and they're both such excellent actors and I know they're going to have enormous careers and I, I felt like honored to be a part of it. This one was um, a fascinating process, a, you know, a difficult process, trying to find the play. But, you know, I think we eventually did, and I think what we have here is something very, very special. Why was this such an important story for you to tell? You know, I think it's a, I think it's a story that people right now especially often say, you know, that's happened to me or that's happened to my father, or, that's happened to my family. I think it's the kind of story that resonates very much with what we as a country have really just been through. It's a very smart, incisive examination of the moment we're in right now through this very oblique, distant lens. The language of the play, I think, is really compelling, and the time and place, and the, being on the precipice of war. I, I, it's just a really romantic and, and beautiful way that the play is written. It's talking about a, a time when there was a naivete, I think, um, about what it is to be American, and um, there's a lot of, um, I don't know, there's a lot of shadows in, in that sunny disposition that uh, aren't always explored and I think this this uh, play explores the shadows a little bit. You can set the story wherever but you know when it's issues of, of love and frustration and anger and 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 dealing with death I mean th these are these are things that will always be relevant. What excites you most about it? Why did you want to be a part of it so badly? It's a beautiful beautiful play, simple play about relationships and, and put in the middle of a very difficult uh, situation. It's a really a play about all the characters learning what it means to let go. Either to let go of, of your native country, to let go of your child, to let go of your grief. And it's a family play. And we, and we you know, as actors, we work through your own issues playing somebody else's family. So it's, it's very cathartic. I love the fact that Char was uh, an American writer who's interested in the past. We, we don't have very many of those writers who like to investigate sort of what made us Americans. There's something about it that's, that's um, traditional and classical, but it's, it's still, it really feels sprung and fresh. And um, there's, there's, so, it's, there's so much there to, to mine. What do you hope audiences are talking about when they leave the theater after seeing the show? I would hope that um, that this show makes them reflect on, on the themes, you know, family relations and war, obviously it's relevant for today, and financial hardship, which is obviously relevant for today. Just to think at all, I think, is, is, is the greatest gift a play can give to an audience.